This is lesson 7.7. .7. It's adding and subtracting mixed numbers. Whenever you have a word problem, ignore the numbers at first just so you understand what the question is asking you, and then go back and read it again with the numbers. So, after a party, there were some sandwiches that were left on one tray and some sandwiches that were left on another tray. And we want to know how many sandwiches were left. So before we do anything with numbers, you want to think, what's the operation that I'm doing with this problem? So there's a leftover amount here and a leftover amount here, and I want to know how much all together. So I'm going to be adding these fractions together. So then I go back and I say, okay, there's one and five sixths here, two and four sixths here. How do I do that? So First off is um, you will get to a point where you do it without a model for sure. There's a lot of quick ways to do this, but to start with, you want to know how the model works. So uh, we will be having one and five sixths plus two and four sixths. So one step is you want to model the fraction part of it first. So here is one. That would be 5 out of 6 here, but I need to add this other fraction. And I could, you might think, oh, well, I'm just going to put my 4 out of 6 here, and then I can add them together. That's okay, but it might be uh, helpful in the next couple of steps to do it where you just add on here and then put the leftover here. So now I have to model 4 out of 6. So I'm going to put this one over here. So here's 1 two, three, and four. So now if I look at it, I can see how many total uh, parts are shaded. There's six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine total shaded parts. And if you look at the math, five plus four is nine. That should really be, um, it should stand out to you already. So uh, we're gonna have nine parts over here for the fraction. And what do I have as my denominator? Well, I know that my part is a sixth sized part and there's a six in the denominator here, so my denominator is going to stay six. So now my fraction part is done. Then I need to model the whole parts. Um, you could just see that right away that two and one is going to be three holes. So we're just gonna put it over here. So now I have three and nine sixths. I can't leave it that way. I can't have a mixed number and an improper fraction, a fraction greater than one. I need to make it consistent. So now with this fraction, I already know how to do this from before, I need to take out my whole from it. And you should see very quickly that six out of six is hiding in here. I'm gonna pull that out and give it to my whole. And then whatever's left is my leftover fraction. So if I were to write that out. If I were to write out my thinking, my thinking would be, okay, so nine sixths. I'm going to take away the hole that's hiding in there. There's one hole, six sixths. There's my one. And what am I left with? Three sixths. This one, you have to give it to this hole. So then your answer becomes four and three sixths but you're still not done because this should also stand out to you that you can reduce that and simplify it. So then your final answer would be four and a half, four and a half. That would be, and then you would put it into a sentence and you would say, there are four and a half sandwiches left out of, out of all of it. Okay, so uh, here's one that you can try. So same, same question, just changing the numbers. We're going to model it one more time, and then we'll get to the shortcut. So again, the model, you can do a square, rectangle, whatever works. Um, that's easy to cut into pieces. So there's my, my fraction part. So then I start shading in. So this one is going to be 2 out of 5. So there's 1 and there's 2. I could put the 4 over here, but sometimes it's easier to see over here that if I put the four here, what that's showing me is, here's one, two, three, and four. What that shows me is that I have one left over here, 
that I know I'm going to have to group in with my holes. So it's just a visual way to see that, yes, I'm going to have more than one. Um, and there's my leftover. So if I add them all up, I have five, six. So there are six. And the denominator is a five. There's a fifth size part. So six, five, six fifths. And then if I add my whole numbers, I have a three and a two. That is five. But I'm not done yet because I can't leave this as an improper fraction. I have to take out my whole. So if I do it just mentally, what am I thinking? Five out of five is a whole. I give it here. If I take five away from six, what's left? Just one. So my final answer would be I'm giving that whole one here. And what's left is one fifth. So this time it would be six and one fifth sandwiches that are left. Okay, we'll do this one without a model. Same question, just adding the fractions. And you can pause it, try it, and then come back and check. So start with the fraction first. Okay, numerator 7 plus 5 is 12. Put that over here. And the denominator stays the same. That's the size of the part. It's a 9. That stays here. And if I add these, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I'm not done yet. I need to take out my holes from this amount. So 9 ninths will come away, and I'll give it here. That's going to become a 14. If I take 9 away from 12, how much is left? Three. Three ninths, and I'm not done because that should also stand out to me that I have to simplify it. So this then becomes 14 and one third. So 14 and one third is going to be left. So that's adding. Again, when you skip past the model, you can do a lot of this in your head. This part where you're taking out the whole amount, you can also do in your head but you should understand you're taking away nine ninths, that's one whole, and you're giving it to your whole amount. And then the leftover three is what you're left with and then you wanna simplify. So we'll try uh, a subtraction one and then that's pretty much the lesson. Okay, for this problem, again, read the question without the numbers first, just to understand what it's asking you. So I had a sum amount of sandwiches and my friends ate some amount of the sandwiches. How many sandwiches were left? So I had three and four fifths. Friends are gonna eat some. How much is left? I should see that I'm going to be subtracting. So I need to model what I have first. Always start with what you have. Okay. So after you model it, and again, you're going to cut this out pretty quickly, but you need to see how it looks. So this model shows what I start with. I started with one, two, three holes, and then four out of five. And then the next part is just taking away what we're subtracting. So I'm going to cross out what we don't want anymore. So we're going to cross out two whole ones. So I can cross out these two whole ones completely. And then I'm going to cross out the parts that I have. So I'm going to cross out three of these. So I'll just take away these three. And then all that's left is I look at what's left. So what is left? I have one whole that's left. And out of the parts, I have one part out of the five, out of the fifth sized piece. So my answer is one and one fifth. And as a sentence, how many sandwiches are left? There are one and a fifth sandwiches that are left. So here's one you can try it. Again, pause it, try it, and then come back and check. Three minus one is two. The denominator is 4, and 12 minus 6 is 6. It's pretty fast. But then you need to reduce this, so it's going to be 6 and a half. Okay, 5 and 3 sevenths, 6 and 5 sevenths, we're adding it. Start with the fraction first. 3 and 5 is 8, 7 stays, and 6 and 5 is 11. Always check your answer at the end. Can you do anything to it? Yes, I can. That is not proper. I need to give that hole that's hiding in there to the hole that's over here. There's a 7-7 seven, seven in here. So this becomes 12. Put it over here. And if I do 8 over 7 minus that 7-7, seven, seven, what's left is 1 7. So your answer is 12 and 1 7. Okay, here's three. You can try, pause it, write them down, try them, and I will put the answers up so you can check your work. 
So for this one, we're going to add the numerators, 4 plus 2. Remember to check out and make sure you're paying attention to the operation because that'll flip on you and you want to not um, make a mistake just on that. So 4 and 2 is 6. Denominator is 5. And I add these two, 5 and 3 is 8. That's an improper fraction. I need to take out a whole from there. So this becomes a 9. And what's left is 1 fifth. This one, subtraction, start with a fraction. 5 minus 4 is 1. The denominator stays the same. 23 minus 12 is 11. And then I check. Is there anything else I can do? No, then that's my answer. For this one, we are adding. So start with a fraction. 4 and 2 is 6. The denominator is 7, and I add 12 and 5, and I get 17 and 6 sevenths. There's nothing else to do there, so I'm done.